So we had a wet day yesterday and I figured I might as well make a start on setting up my automatic watering system. Um, so basically I've got my solar power, I've done videos on it before, I've got a 100 watt panel up here on the roof and a 30 watt panel and both of those come down to my solar controller which is just up here under the roof. Uh, what I had before was basically a polystyrene box that some meat was delivered in. I just had my batteries stuck down there on the floor, but I've had mice getting in there. I've had rain beating in. It just, I wanted to build something a bit more substantial. So, you know, always wanting to save money. I just scrounged around a small old and found some old uh, ply. I had a little old table over the back here, which I had pots and things on. Some of the ply was a bit knack and I had to cut off the bits where it delaminated, but I had enough to do the bottom top and back at a ply so any water if the rain beats in there's no slats for any, any water to get into the box and then the sides and the door are just made out of pallet wood and and a, a few bits of tube one that i found for the for the frame um painted it with some green fence paint and i just had to shoot out this morning and buy some hinges because I, I usually keep any old hinges but um i must have used them all so i had to go and get some new hinges so basically they were 5.99 uh, other than that it cost me nothing so but I've still got to put some sort of little lock system or something on it I mean I'm not going to keep it locked up for security if anyone came down here they'd just smash it apart anyway um, but just something just to bolt it up um, you know just just to keep the door shut but it tends to stay up anyway but basically the door just drops down um, the inverter I've got is just laid on some bricks so I just lay that out flat once the door's down um, it's connected permanently to the batteries bolted onto the fittings so the power comes down onto the battery inverter is connected and permanently set up so all i need to do i've got this pump here which is a high pressure hose lock professional pump i bought it probably eight or nine years ago quite a while ago now uh, it's got a stainless steel front on it the newer ones that are out now uh, i think are about the same sort of price but they're all, all plastic um but this is an older version but it, it it's still going strong it's um done me well it's, it's been sat out all winter sometimes down here not you know undercover not out in the weather um but uh yeah still going strong so this is a 500 watt 3.5 bar pump so it is you know nice sort of pressure to it so there's two outlets on the inverter this is a 1500 watt inverter that i got for christmas uh made just made by streetwise i'm, I'm sure it's just like a chinese make but um the reviews were pretty good pretty good 1500 watt uh, 3000 watt peak so you, you can run up to 3000 watts for a short amount of time so you could run a, a smaller sort of kettle off it so I could in theory have a, a kettle now for boiling my water for, to have a cup of tea down here um, so there's two two plug sockets and an on off switch so basically turn it on fans come on just to show it's working then they go off they come on automatically when there's any draw on it so that's now all ready to go what I'll have in the summertime is I'll, I'll have different hose connectors that I can connect to my potatoes, which I'm going to do down just in front of my bean arch here. I'll have all my potato pots, and then I've got some soaker hose, which I'll connect on the end of that to do the bean arch as well, both sides of that. So all that will be done in one go. So the idea is I can come down, flick it on, go and do something for 20 minutes, and everything will be watered that side the, the containers and things so basically it's now just ready to go just turn it on and then you've got three and a half bar pressure nice high pressure to to run and walk my beds and to run all my automatic watering off if i just leave that running I'll go and have a look at my solar controller and it's just sitting there so when, when, the, when the solar is charging the batteries are always at about thir between 13.6 and 14.2 volts as soon as you put any draw on it it tends to come down to about 12.6 12.5 something like that so I, I do want to sort of run a test and see how long this will run this for but it's only 500 watts so it's dropped to 12.4 volts now um, and there's only 0.9 of an amp charge coming in obviously in the summer when it's nice and sunny and when I'll be doing more watering the, the incoming charge from the solar power is quite often over 6 amps so it should almost sort of 
charge it as almost as quick as I'm using it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to do the job. I'll just turn it off, it's a bit noisy. Um, there you go, and then the fans then cut off after you stop drawing. But yeah, so, you know, real good, real good little system. My petrol pump did actually break. Uh, the casing, the front casing is cast iron on that and that cracked, we had a minus six and I'd left it down there, I usually put it in the garage at home. Um, so that split, so my mate is gonna try and fix it for me, so I've got it as a spare, but there's no rush, I, I've got this set up now, so that's fine. Um, but also the pull start had knackered on it and I was having to use my drill to start it. So of course I'd come down sometimes and I wouldn't have my drill with me, so uh, you know I'd have to go back home, get my drill, come. so it's becoming a bit of a pain. So just having this system, um, I'll take this pump home, keep it in the garage, stop it freezing through the winter. Um, so like now I'm gonna take it back home. I'm not gonna leave it in now because I don't need it. And we may get some more freezing weather. So I just wanted to test the system. I'll take it back home and I'll bring it back down in the summer. It's only really gonna be used in the summer. But then um, obviously during the winter, I can use lights and power tools and things off it too. But uh, yeah, it's just nice to get everything done in a, something a bit more sturdy than a little polystyrene box. And uh, just scrap wood, it just cost me the hinges, really, that's it. So um, yeah, nice little system, just getting ready for summer. But um, anyway, guys, quick little video, take it easy, and we will see you next time.